You mentioned the term noticeable, and I think uh, that was uttered by Ryan Day in describing Zach Harrison's improvement. Yeah. And uh, here's a guy that uh, I would never come anywhere close to calling him a bust in any way because he's been highly productive. He's a good player, but so much is expected of this guy, maybe unfairly, but uh, that was a reputation coming in and the recruiting ranking uh, that, that you wouldn't be able to uh, expect a player of his caliber, a physical specimen of his caliber to improve that much. But Ryan Days, uh, I know that he said this week that that, that he is a, that much more mature of a player, both physically and mentally. At Ohio State, if you come in, especially these last five, six years, uh, you come in as a highly ranked defensive end, the comparisons are easy, right? You, you know, you start with Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, Chase Young, um, you know, you, you work your way down that list. And, and obviously there's been, you know, many guys before then, but um, that was the comparison thrown about Zach Harrison for a long time, especially because he grew up just outside of Columbus, you know, was, was a kid who grew up, as they say, in the shadow of Ohio Stadium. So for a long time, um, he's been talked about as, as that guy didn't commit to Ohio State until very late in the process, but it was kind of always expected that he would. Uh, had a good freshman season. Actually, if you look at his numbers compared to Chase Young's numbers as a freshman, very, very similar. And then last year, it just, it, it, I don't know if it was the, the off season or, or lack of a normal off season or, or what it was, but the production just wasn't there, especially early on, you know, not the, not a high number of snaps. Um, and, and he got better as the year went on, but like all of the defensive ends, the, the statistics weren't great. And, you know, uh, Zach was very, admitting of this when we talked to him a week or so ago about, you know, he thinks that, that he needs to be better. And so he, you know, kind of had a, uh, you know, light bulb went on moment where he said, you know, I'm going to dedicate myself to this program and do all the things I need to do this year, this off season to be the best player I can be come the fall. Um, and you know, this, this came after Ryan day had praised him, um, for, as you said, kind of finally looking like the player that they expected, um, you know, at least in winter workouts, um, this, you know, this, these past couple months. So, you know, if, if he can become that, that defensive end that can really terrorize, uh, you know, opposing offenses, the way that the guys I mentioned before can, that'll certainly help Ohio state's defense. You know, we, we've talked plenty about the pass defense and the struggles, you know, a way to help the pass defense aside from, you know, cornerbacks and safeties and everything and coverages is get to the quarterback. Don't let him throw the ball. So, uh, you know, if, if they have a guy like that who, who can rise to the occasion, then, then that helps the entire defense. Five and a half sacks and 10 tackles for loss for Zach Harrison over two seasons, 2019 and 2020. Pat Murphy uh, joining us to break down the Buckeyes. You can join him on Bucknuts 247 Sports. Pat, we always appreciate you stopping by and breaking things down for us. Absolutely. Anytime.